Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. This is a quick five minute spoiler free review of The Daughter of Dr. Moreau by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Footage pulled from a wrap up video, but I had a lot to say about it and I think you should read it. Go check it out. My final four and a half star read was The Daughter of Dr. Moreau by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. Another sort of auto buy author for me. I don't actually have my own physical copy yet. I had an eARC from Neck Alley. I will be at some point buying myself a physical copy of it. The cover is gorgeous. The book is so good and so smart. And I just love her writing. If you love her writing, you're probably going to enjoy this. This is a historical fiction with a little bit of a speculative or sci fi twist. And it is her take on the island of Dr. Moreau, except it's set in Mexico in the late 1800s. And it follows the biracial half Mexican daughter of Dr. Moreau, who is creating these sort of experimental creatures. And yeah, I mean, it's great. Thematically, it's so rich. It's getting into some really interesting things about this part of Mexican history. Uh, like, oh God, Sylvia Moreno Garcia is just so smart and her books are so smart. It is for sure a slow burn. I feel like the the first part of the book took me a while to get into but by the time the action picked up I was just there for all of it and it was great. Sylvia Moreno Garcia also is incredible at writing complex messy characters. They're they're never going to be clearly good or bad. They're sometimes going to be selfish or make poor choices, but they're interesting and they're very human and I think we see that quite a bit in this book. What's interesting about this as a retelling is that it questions what it is we consider to be monstrous and is also pushing back on the racism and colorism and colonial forced labor of indigenous Mexican people during this time period that was supposedly not slavery but actually was. And then I, I, I also said in my Goodreads review, and of course because this is a Moreno Garcia novel woven throughout are the problems of misogyny and the infantilization of pretty young women, which is a theme that I've noticed in most of her books. That is a thing that she explores quite a bit and it happens here, which I, I think is interesting. I don't think you should go in knowing too much about this book, but I really liked it. I really like the ending, even though it's not the obvious or tropey ending. I thought it was really good. And in terms of content warnings for this book, they do include medical experimentation, physical abuse, violence, loss of a loved one, verbal abuse, racism, gaslighting, misogyny, and grooming. So kind of be aware. I, I do put content warnings in some of my Goodreads reviews, not all of them, but you can always check there if you want to know them. And I don't know that that is exhaustive as a list, but some of the major things I noticed. I do want to add a couple of notes to what I said in the original review. First up, it's worth noting that while the original Island of Dr. Moreau by H.G. Wells was more of a sci-fi horror novel. This version is definitely not horror. It is historical fiction, like I said, with a bit of a sci-fi sort of speculative twist. So if you're going into this looking for a horror take, that's not what you're getting here. I think some people might be mistaking that because Mexican Gothic is horror. But one thing that's worth knowing about Sylvia Moreno Garcia is that she writes in a wide range of genres, but always centering Mexican characters. Another thing I wanted to add is that the hybrids in this case are human animal hybrids and they're created using gene splicing rather than vivisection. The original book had vivisection. In this case it's basically the idea that Dr. Moreau early on figured out splicing DNA so it is definitely a different sort of take on it and the hybrids look monstrous but they're quite human and that I think is part of what is interesting about this version is it is exploring the way that we dehumanize and make monstrous the other and in this case we have it sort of literalized through these hybrids but also through some of these other indigenous Mexican characters on the side and some other things happening. So uh, wanted to add those notes but really excellent book. Comment down below with your thoughts if you've read this, if you've read other books by this author, and if you're planning to. Also, would you be interested in seeing a video from me with like a guide to Sylvia Moreno Garcia's writing? I think she is a fascinating author and it's something that's been on my list of things to maybe do. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts and if that's something you'd be interested in. If you like this video, it does help if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.